Hello everyone, we're iRender, the easiest cloud rendering service in the world. In this video, we'll show you how to use the iRender services on macOS. iRender provides high configuration computers for rendering. You will connect to our computers via Windows Remote Desktop, and then you will have full control of them, just like you are using your own machines. First, register an account. If you have an iRender account already, skip it and log into the account. The second step is making a payment. iRender accepts making payments through several payment methods that include PayPal, OnePay, Momo, Payoneer and Bank Transfer. The minimum amount of money for each transaction is $50. The next step is to transfer files to the remote server. There are several ways to do it, either through cloud drives like Google Drive, Dropbox, or with macOS you can use the iRender app called GPU Hub Sync. If you cannot install PuHub Sync, you should unlock third-party settings on your Mac. This app is really convenient as all folders you upload will be synced to the Z drive in the remote server. To upload files, just drag and drop the folder you want here. After you have done uploading your files, come back to our website and log in your account. Now, select a server type. There are different server packages categorized by the type and number of graphic cards. In particular, iRender provides NVIDIA's RTX 3090 that builds a server from 1 to 8 graphics cards. In this video, we're going to create a 4 RTX 3090 server. Choosing a suitable one depends on your demand for rendering or AI training, the use of software and applications, even the project scale. To open .rdp file for macOS, you need to download and install the Microsoft Remote Desktop app on Mac App Store. You should install it before booting the image to save your credits. We then boot the image. It may take 5 to 10 minutes for a normal image. The process may take longer according to the image size. After the image is booted successfully it means the remote server is ready to use. 
please note that our system starts charging you right after the image is booted successfully. Click the connect button to download the remote desktop connection file. In this step, let's choose the option that is nearest to your location. Enter your credentials to connect to the remote server. You are on the remote server as we mentioned. Folders you upload to Pahub Sync will be in Z Drive. However, Z is just a network drive so it's recommended to work on hard drives like C or desktop to avoid crashes. As a result, copy the data to the desktop before opening it. Today, we will show you an example of workflow with Blender. First of all, we set up Blender software. The installer is available on X drive, just copy it to the desktop and install. T open your Blender project, do settings with GPU and then render. For other software that require license to work on the server, you might need one more step of logging into your own license before starting rendering. Remember to set the output path in the hard drive like C drive to avoid data loss. Finally, Move the rendered file to Z drive in order to sync with Pahub Sync. When everything is complete, we shut down the remote server on the iRender console. Only by doing that, the system will stop the bill. The final step is to get your results by downloading them from the Pahub Sync to your personal computer. Well, we have already guided you on how to use the iRender services. There are a bunch of features to support you while using our service. Let's check it in the iRender documentation that we leave the link below. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you for your time. I render, happy rendering.